All right, people, the Super Falcons are back. This is the squad list for the qualifiers for the women's AFCON, the last game against Cape Verde. So please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. We are Niger Football Kings. So the first leg is on the 30th of November and then the second is on the 5th of December. If Nigeria win this, they qualify for the AFCON in 2024. Let's kick off with the forwards, man. We've got Azizat Oshola Agba Bola, age 29, FC Barcelona, 124 club league goals and 38 goals for the national team at all levels. We know her, you know, she's a known quantity. She didn't have the best of World Cups, but did score a goal in the African qualifiers for the Olympics next year. So yeah, she's not as strong as she used to be, but I know with her mentality, she's the sort of player that will want to prove critics wrong. Moving on, we've got Uchina Kanu, racing Louisville Football Club in the US 26, 61 club goals and 10 goals for the national team. Now, Rinsola Babajide, she plays for UDG Tenerife in Spain. 25, 29 club league goals and zero goals for the national team. She's a new one. She made her debut against Ethiopia in the Olympic qualifiers and she was so proud to do so. She used to play for England but has made the switch to the national team of Nigeria at the adult level. So she did play for England but now has made the correct switch in my mind. But anyway, she's a very interesting customer and plays in the same club as Gift Monday on the screen right now who's age 21, 31 club league goals and two goals for the national team. Also, another person that plays in the same club is Esther Okronko, age 26, 8 club league goals and 3 goals for the national team. She played at the World Cup well, she got like cameo appearances, I believe she had 2 substitute appearances. But since the World Cup, this is her first recall back to the squad. I believe there's a lot of space for her, you know, she is a more direct player than I would say Onumonu and I'm happy that she's in the squad and is given an opportunity to sort of like stake her claim. She scored a goal against Cote d'Ivoire in qualifiers and is a very interesting player for Nigeria. Moving on to the midfielders, we've got Rashida Ajibade, age 23, plays for Atletico Madrid, 37 club league goals and 4 goals for the national team. For me, currently now she is the on pitch captain. She is pretty much one of the brains of the team. She's very good in the middle of the park and you know she's a statesman in the team, a stateswoman in the team if I do say so myself and is a very important player for Nigeria. She's stepped up, she's got leadership qualities and I'm very happy that she's in the squad and I'm sure she'll be in the squad for a long time barring injury or barring a drop or a loss of form. So yeah, Ajibade is here to stay. The girl with the blue hair, you know, look at those moves, jinking and jiving and yeah, showing them how it's done. Peace Effie plays for FC Kiryat Gat in Israel. She's age 23, has one club league goal and zero goals for the national team. We now have Esther Onyenezide. She plays for FC Robo, age 20. She's home base, has three national team goals. Some lists don't have her down having been called up, but other lists do. She's a bonus. Here you guys have a bonus of her skills. She's little. She's been a star for the Nigerian under 20 team and she's very quick on the ball in very tricky situations. Situations. I mean, look at how quickly she got to that ball before anybody else. But yeah, she's an interesting customer. Some lists say she wasn't called to the squad. So these clips are just a preview of what she does. Anyway, Tony Payne, age 28, plays for Sevilla. 25 club league goals and zero goals for the national team. And then we have Deborah Abionu, who's returned. She plays for Pittsburgh University. She's age 20, six goals for her club, which she just transferred to. But yeah, she played at the World Cup. She got a red card in the first game against Canada, but she was brought in because of red cards and because of injuries to other players in the midfield for Nigeria. A player that I enjoy watching. She's very strong on the tackle. She's very persuasive and she's very determined when it comes to attempting to get that ball. Yeah, I'm happy that she's got a callback. I think she just transferred to Pittsburgh recently. I think she was given time to sort of acclimatize at her new club. But yeah, she's back in the squad and a very happy return for Deborah Abiodun. Happy to see that. Okay, Christy Uchi be one of the stars for Nigeria at the World Cup, age 22, plays for Benfica, five club goals and one goal for the national team. Another return is Jennifer Echejini. She plays in Florida State University, 22 years old, 25 club league goals and one goal for the national team. But yeah, she's a player that I really like. She's long term for Nigeria. You know, she's one of the ones that I believe can play for us for a pretty long time. And yeah, look at these beautiful goals, the opportunities that she takes. But yeah, Jennifer is a player that can bring a lot to the table. Still young, didn't have many opportunities at the World Cup. It was viewed as a learning experience for her, rightfully so. But yeah, she's back in the fold. Now, an old dog, an old woman who's been here forever. Halimatu Ayinde, I say that with a lot of respect as in she's been here for ages. Anyway, moving on, we've got defenders. 
Osinaki Ohale, who plays for Pachuca in Mexico. She's 31 years old, nine club league goals and one goal for the national team. But yeah, she won the Woman of the Match award against Australia. I mean, she was crazy. She's very tough in the tackle. She's a dependent defender for Nigeria. I mean, long may she remain as resilient as she is because I think without her, Nigeria will lose a lot. Oluwa Tosin Demahin, a reliable player, plays for Stade Rams, age 21, zero club league goals and zero goals for the national team. She was a star at the last World Cup. Now we have Glory Edet. She plays in DR Congo for TP Mazembe, age 22, one club league goal. So she used to play for Bayelsa Queens. She was a star and nominated in the CAF Women's Champions League team of that year. She is a right back, a very interesting player, and she's gone abroad. She's left by Elsa Queen, and I mentioned she's gone to DR Congo. I'm happy that she's in the squad. I mean, Michelle Lozier is out injured, and it could be interesting in that right back position to have more options, you know. She's a very interesting young player, and one that will hopefully stay long enough in. I like that we are giving the local or African-based players as much of a chance. I like the mixture between home-based, African-based and also foreign-based players. It gives the Super Falcons a certain strength that I don't think we have enough of in the Super Eagles. Moving on, another new person is Rihanna Kasali. She's aged 18. She's home base and this is her first call-up. She plays for Bielsa Queens. Now, Rufiat Imuran plays for Stade de Rem. She's 19 years old, has two club goals and zero goals for the national team. She was at the World Cup but was not given many opportunities. But I'm happy that she's still being recalled to the squad. I mean, she's a tenacious player and one that we want to see more of. But I mean, her time will most definitely come. For me, presently, she is a squad player, but there's nothing wrong with being a squad player. You will get your opportunities eventually, but she's there. We now have Akudo Obona, who plays for Remo Stars. She's age 23, zero club goals and zero goals for the national team. Now, moving on to the goalkeepers, Mrs. Dependable, Chiamaka Dadosie, plays for Paris FC, age 22, zero club goals and zero goals for the national team. So yeah, I love her. I love showing highlights of her. I mean, her goalkeeping reminds me of Vincent Enyama. You know, she's the most reliable Nigerian goalkeeper, men or women, unfortunately to say. Just watching her play, whenever she plays, I just enjoy watching the way that she commands her box and she's big, she's tall, she's strong and yeah, she has a never say die attitude. Nigeria, we are blessed to have her as our goalkeeper. Then moving on, we've got Tochuku Olehi, who's age 36, now plays in Saudi Arabia for Eastern Flames and last but not least, Christiana Obia. She's age 22, she's home based and this is her first call up. Very interesting and very tough team aligned. I think Kebede have no hope of going through and Naja are going to qualify for the AFCON. So please like and subscribe. If you don't want to miss out on future videos, we do all things Nigerian football. And thank you very much for your time. And you guys take care. Later.